Good day viewers, welcome to my channel, Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. This is WASI 2025 for private candidates. Compulsory question one. The first three terms of an arithmetic progression are x plus five followed by 13 and then five x minus three. We are to find the a, the value of x be the 22nd term of the sequence. So now since this is a sequence, which is an AP, there is something unique about an arithmetic progression. Now let's say we have these three consecutive terms of an AP. Three, five, and then seven. You could see that this, there is a constant number which is causing the increase in the terms. So we see that the, the constant number here is, is two. So that they added two to three to get to five. They added two to five to get to seven. So two here is the common difference. Two is the common difference. Now using these three consecutive terms of the AP, how do we calculate for the common difference? So come, someone can pick the second term, which is five minus the first term, and that will give us a common difference. Someone can also pick the third term, which is seven minus the second term, which is five. That will also give us the same common difference so with this approach as we did for the common difference someone can pick the second term minus the first term so here the second term is 13 so this 13 minus the expression for the first term x plus 5 so this will give us a common difference another way of getting the common difference is also taking the third term which is 5x minus 3 minus the second term, which is 30. So we've been able to create an equation out of the three consecutive uh, terms of an AP. So now let's solve for x. So we mean that we have to solve for this particular equation. So now we have 13. I will expand the bracket minus x minus 5 and this must be equal to 5x minus 3 minus 13 at this point i'm going to group like terms so i'm grouping all variables on the right and all numbers on the left so starting with the numbers 13 minus 5 so becomes plus 3 plus 13 and this must be equal to 5x plus x so we can simplify 13 minus 5 plus 3 plus 13 so i'm having 24 and this must be equal to 6x so since we are looking for x can divide both sides by 6 and then 24 divided by 6 so the 6 will cancel out that is 4 so we can say that x is equal to 4 so that is 4 a, the value of x is 4. So now before we solve for the 22nd term, let's find the actual values of the terms. So for the first term, this was the expression. The first term was giving us x plus 5. Now we know x as 4, so 4 plus 5, and meaning that the first term is 9. So let me get the space here. Now let's also get the second term. So the second term was given as 30. What of the third term? So the third term was 5x minus 3. But we had x as 4 minus 
So 5, 4, that is 20 minus 3. So the third term is 17. So let's list the terms. The first term we had 9. Second term is 13. And the third term is 17. So with this, we know our first term. Our first term is 9. So that is our first term. Now what is the common difference? So the common difference, we can pick the second term minus the first term. And then 13 minus 9, that is also 4. So with this B, we should be able to find the 22nd term. We know that the 22nd term, when expressed in terms of the first term and the common difference, that is A plus 21D. So we can do the substitution. We know A as 9. And then D as 4. So 21 multiplied by 4. That is 80, 84. And then 9 plus 84. 9 plus 84. That is 93. So that is for the 22nd term of the sequence. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and share the video. See you next time.